Alright, now before it's time to jump into the underwater fun in full scuba gear, let's start from the beginning. It all started when we had to take some diving equipment to the dive boat from home. You see many foreign holiday makers in Doin, mostly divers. We are early and look for our dive boat. We have already discovered the Ethan Abo Scuba. The diving equipment and ice box brought along must be brought on board from the car. It's time to board even for the land lovers. Diving tanks are brought on board. We have four divers on board and three dives are planned. Things are also happening on the neighboring boats and a certain atmosphere of departure is developing everywhere. <laughs> As we are early, we have to wait for Ella and Gibson who are out somewhere. Gibson comes first. He is a dive instructor Paddy and SDTDI and Raid and has organized this dive trip for Gary and his guests. For those interested in a dive trip around Doin and Apo Island, as well as in Sipali at Sugar Beach, the contact details are below in the description. Here is our skipper and his crew. Now only Ella with her mother and the kids are missing, but they are on their way to us. Here comes Ella with more utensils that still need to get on board. Basically, 
Moin moin. Our crossing to the island of Apo begins. We set sail. We approach the first dive spot, called the chapel, and look for a free moon. Our divers get ready for the first dive. There are snorkelers everywhere in the water and even more divers further down. Our divers are diving and above water there is something to eat. More dive boats arrive, others continue to another dive site. Our divers have resurfaced.
We make room for the coming dive boats and go to the second dive site called Coconut Point. Once we arrive, you will see why. The divers have to keep a certain amount of time between dives and always look impatiently at their watches. Meanwhile, Ella is busy in the galley frying chicken parts for hungry mouths. Another dive boat moors at ours. The crews all know each other and fool around. Gibson brought up seaweed, and now it's a delicious salad. Fishermen with speed boats race by. Later, one will come back and sell us freshly caught fish. Getting ready for the second dive. Yeah, I cannot see. I, I, and I will not go there. <laughs> There are problems that can be fixed. A strong current here drives the divers away and they are picked up at another spot. Alarm. Essentials such as cigarettes, cola and instant coffee, among others, were found to be missing. The dinghy is made ready and one of the crew has to go ashore with a waterproof backpack for shopping. We are now in the resurfacing area with a lot of other dive boats all looking for their divers. Everywhere, the bright red and bright green signals pop out of the water with the words diver below. Gibson provides a supply of seaweed so that salad can be made again. We are still waiting for our lone shopper with the dinghy, who has already been spotted and now has to be taken on board. We sail over to some fishermen and want to buy freshly caught fish, unfortunately without success. One of the fishermen with one of the fast boats comes up to us with freshly caught fish.
One of the fishermen with one of the fast boats comes up to us with freshly caught fish. No, the air is back. The divers are underwater, and we go to another group of fishermen to buy more fish. They have no fish. Out there, further away, is a lone fisherman and lo and behold, he has fish for us. In the end, he is overjoyed to have sold part of his catch on the water and holds up the banknote as he says goodbye. Divers are back on board. Gibson takes the kids snorkeling again. Everyone is reminded several times to hold on to the lines. The current is unpredictable here. For us, a wonderful day on the water comes to an end. We set off on our return journey. I get showered four times with warm seawater. If you like this video, please subscribe to my video channel, leave a like, share with friends, and leave a friendly comment. Thank you.